They are not going to do a sub two. Worst case scenario, they have to lease. That VA loan is still going to stay in place. How is that going to affect them next year when they want to buy something? That is just not the best scenario for them. Yes, the VA loan would stay in place, but is that better than having to rent it out? And maybe they go conventional on their next one and have 5 to 10% to put down. How much consider. cash are you talking that would be an option for them to walk away with? Hello. Hey, is this Michaela? Yes. Hey, this is Matt Beard. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I am great. I'm just giving you a call because Jay told me to, to give you a holler right around 11. Is this still a good time? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I was calling because I think she had initially touched base with you about the listing there off uh, Pee Wee. And yes. I'm saying that right, right? It is Pee Wee, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, she was giving me the, uh, I guess, the rundown on this one. Uh, she was saying that mm -hmm. the uh, you guys are currently, I see that you have it on the market for three hundred, um, and I guess the main thing is there's just not a lot of there's not a lot of equity here for your sellers, and you're trying to figure out like, okay, what's going to be the best move for them because there is a VA loan, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I guess up to this point, like, is what is what is the sellers really hoping to do? Because I think there might be something we can work out here. It's just a matter of. X's and O's and making sure everybody's on the to, same page. They are not going to do a sub two. Okay. And and have anybody, you know, be on the VA loan because they need the VA loan el eligibility for a new purchase that they're planning on making about mm -hmm. next year. Um, yeah. So ideally they are interested in selling. Uh, they're not really looking to make an intense amount of profit because they know that's not possible. Um, spoke extensively with them about where we are at and what the market is in that particular subdivision. So they are aware mm -hmm. that there's really there's really no nothing to do at this time. Um, if they cannot sell, then we are going to put it up for a for lease. So okay. I'm going to work on that actually in the next few days. Sure, but ideally they want to sell, so they're not having to continue to make that mortgage payment. Yeah, ideally they would like to sell. Um, ideally they would like to sell because they would not, they are not interested in moving back into that particular area when they come back into town. Got it. So are they still living in the house right now? No, they just moved yesterday. They have still part of their stuff in there. It's just going to be cleared out within a week. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. And if worst case scenario, they have to lease, then that VA loan is still going to stay in place. How is that going to affect them next year when they want to buy something? Then, you know, it's through their house, so they could potentially move back in Got and it. then so like try to resell the... when it's, yes, when the market has is more favorable for that particular area. The issue we have in that area is that they are still constructing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we, we bought out there in uh, Converse, and it's a lot out there, too. It's like nothing really moves in Converse because it's so far away and people are still building and it's not moving mm -hmm. near as fast, you know? So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we try to make something make something worth this a win-win. And being that it is a VA loan, of course, they're like, okay, I want to go VA, VA on my next one um, instead of going conventional or or FHA. But again, if they, the main goal is they don't want to move back in the house. If we were able to structure something, you know, again, it, it just has to work for all parties. And in this case, I know we could we could do something where they at least walk away with some money. Um, and of course, like we could help cover the commission, but. It would be, you know, by keeping that VA loan in place. So, you know, it's a matter of, hey, if they check their bonus entitlement, because maybe there's a chance that they still have some entitlement left to buy their next house. If they, they do have to. some entitlement left, but not enough. I had them speak to an to a lender a couple of months ago when we started mm -hmm. looking into the options. Okay. And because initially they were interested in keeping it as a rental home. But, you know, that is just not the best scenario for them. So then they decided, okay, let's try to sell, but they are very aware that it's going to be extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And I mean, if they could, and then there's, there's so many ways that we could look at this too, but it's a matter of like, okay, well, if the main goal is to sell it and there's a way that they can walk away with cash, yes, the VA loan would stay in place, but is that better than having to rent it out and maybe they go conventional on their next one and have 5 to 10% to put down? You know, so something, definitely I mean, something to consider. how much cash are you talking that would be an option for them to walk away with? Well, I mean, as it stands right now with them listed at 299 after they pay 
you know, contribute towards closing costs and pay agent commissions, they're probably coming out of pocket if, if not getting like a thousand bucks or something. Um, yes, that is exactly correct. But then they have their VA eligibility and it's just clean hands, you know, clean deal, done. Mm-hmm walk away never have to think about it right and th- again that's if it sells at 299 and, and it might you and i both know it very well could um uh, I, I highly doubt it right <laughs> <laughs> well yeah exactly and you're putting and you're obviously putting work into this thing trying to get it sold and that's just wasted your time too so you know i think at the end of the day we could give them more than that i mean oh, to what extent would they be happy with to get it closed, to, to go down that road in that scenario of like, okay, we mm-hmm. don't have to lease it. We kept the VA loan in place, but we got X amount of money. You know, maybe that's a conversation you guys could have because we could be flexible too and we could cover your commission out of this as well. It depends on the X amount that you're talking about, whether that would be something that they are willing to consider. Yeah. Well, I mean, for us, it, I mean, in this particular case, because we know that the mortgage payment's high, which is probably more than what we could rent it out for, um, it really comes down to... I think to, it's right around where it rents out for because I've done the comps for them, of course, when it comes to the rental income that they can achieve. Okay. Um, With so property management? Just, um, no, without the property management. The lowest uh, monthly rent in that area is just around 1700 for that particular sized home. Mm-hmm. And then they go they go into the, into the low 2000 up to 2000 range Got for it. the max. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they, they, they probably wouldn't be doing anything there as far as like, making any money. But at the same no, time, again, it would not be making money. Yeah. Yeah. So I would look at the same. Right. Because I'd probably I'd want to buy this and kind of hope for what, you know, like in years to come, hopefully this property will appreciate. I think it will. It's a great area. Um, you know, we, we buy a lot in San Antonio. Um, mm-hmm. But it's just a matter of like, again, making it where it would make sense for them. Right. And that's the whole win win thing we're talking about. So, I mean, that could be in the neighborhood of anywhere from six to eight grand. I don't know if that would make sense for them. Um, But, you know, and again, we'll also cover your commissions out of this too. So that way that didn't come out of their cash. But if it's something that they're at least willing to to figure out to say, hey, if we did go down this road, would that make sense? I think it might at least warrant a conversation and maybe we can all talk about it together, you know? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that gives me an idea. Six to eight grand in their pocket. Um, they wouldn't have to worry about my, my fee and mm-hmm. any closing costs, right? Yep. We'll cover the closing costs. And how long would the sub two be on it? How long would you be keeping this VA loan on there? Yeah. So typically when we do something like this, we want to stay as long as possible because we're going to pay more than most And the way that we're structuring. It's like, Hey, we know we're not making anything for a little while because we want the property to appreciate uh, and the, given the current mm-hmm. state of the market and interest rates, it's like, okay, that could be, you know, it could be three years, could be five, could be seven. And literally before we hopped on the call, I was talking to a gentleman in Florida for this house that I'm buying, similar situation. He's selling his home, has a VA loan in place. He's moving to Miami. And he's like, well, how long would it need to be? And I'm like, well, it, I would love to tell you it's an exact time, but it could be in five, could be in seven. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, well, we're interest rates right now. And when interest rates get lower than what I currently have in place, and then, okay, then it would make sense to refinance. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, of course, like we have this serviced by Evergreen on the front end. So in the future, when they're ready to go get a new house, like they'll have all the escrow information. They'll have all the pay stubs up, everything to show that they're not liable for this payment. They can see that someone else has been paying. So it helps them with their debt to income ratio. Um, but long story short, we want to try to keep it as long as we possibly can because that's that's really the upside. The reason why I'm coming in willing to lose money on the front end is I would like the the up you know the upside in the years to come. You know, so right. and maybe that's something we can talk through together too. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, I I talked with him again yesterday. He was categorically no. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I talked with him again. We have a couple of showings coming up actually in the next few days. Yeah. Not that I'm optimistic just because of because I know the market there. <laughs> For um, sure. Well, again, like like what I said, like if you at least wanted to run this across and say, hey, there could be a way that this could make sense for mm-hmm. you guys. You know, and if you want to hop on a three-way call and because they're going to have questions and everybody does, you know, like we can at least try to figure out, is this something we could actually do? I know mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's like they'd rather get this done sooner than later. There's a there, there's another mortgage payment coming up in June, so it's like, how many times do we want to make that mortgage payment? You know, so, um, yeah, maybe there's something we can figure out. All right, very good. And this is the best number to you to reach you. Yep, this is my cell phone. So feel free to call me, text me, whatever you want here at this number. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye. Okay, bye. At the end of the day, the VA loan stuff, that'll always be a thing if they wanna buy another house VA. So they might just have to get to the point in their head to realize, I don't want to deal with this house anymore. And even though there's VA there, I might just have to be okay with going conventional or something else in the next house. Simple. If you're gonna lose money here, but you want to lose money, do you have it in your finances to come out of pocket and sell your house right now? The answer is no. Then you might just have to bite the bullet and sell the house subject to you with your VA loan and go conventional in your next house and at least put some money in your pocket. Because every other scenario, they're not putting any money in your pocket.